Greetings, citizens of the Imperium. Welcome back to Pungo Paints. I am your host, Trooper Six. And today, on Let's Paint, we're continuing with the Cacaridon Tactical Sergeant. Alright. All we really have left now is to attach these pauldrons. We gotta do transfers for the right pauldron and for that banner. We're gonna hit them with some shading. And then I'm gonna do up that little, that little little parchment on his banner. And then we're gonna do some exile markings. And then I guess we'll even do some base. We'll do some base stuff. Should be good. So let's kick this pig. All right, so I've already cut out two transfers, little transfer sheet. So pretty, so clean. But I've already cut out the two transfers. But first thing, we're gonna go ahead and glue them, the uh, pauldrons onto the mini. I've got certain brushes pulled out, tweezers. Like I said before in a previous video, I'm pretty sure I will irritate people with how I do my transfers. Uh, I'm not that concerned about how I do them. This is my personal army. It's not like I'm going to sell these. Well, I might sell the army one day. Hey, hit me up if, you, uh, if you're if you willing to buy the army. We'll talk pricing. It's a 2,000 point army, in case you're wondering. Either way, our two glue choices. Regular old super glue. And I had to get some new glue, so we got some army painter glue. I had Citadel. It ran out. Army Painter was cheaper, so we're going with that. Plus, I've been liking how it's applying, too. It's not too liquidy, so it's been a little bit easier to uh, really direct it where I want it. But the reason why I have two different glues is because certain pieces, like this backpack, plastic glue does not do because that is resin. So I have to use the super glue. So I'm going to use the same for this spiky thing. All right, let's just go ahead and jump into things. Go figure, I was pulling out the wrong glue already for it. Iggy diggy. So we just gonna get a little bit out and go bleh. Just a little bit. Just enough. See that little dot? You don't need much. And I don't have one of those glue brushes either. I don't know if I need it. I've seen them. Uh, even used one before, and they can be pretty helpful, I will admit. All right, now we can see already that it was not exactly catching, so we are going to use more glue. Like I said, a little bit, a little bit more. Because sometimes even a little bit just ain't enough. Once we're done with everything, we will be varnishing it in a matte varnish. Uh, it will not come out uh, shiny <laughs> like the other marine was. If you remember from a previous video, uh, yeah, he ain't going to be coming out like that. I can guarantee you because uh, now that I know what I'm doing with that varnish, I've taken better steps into ensuring that I don't make that same mistake again. I have a satin varnish if I need it to be shiny. Okay, so let's use our army painter glue. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, let me get the needle out. Little needle. Little needle, where'd you go? We'll just use that. There we go. All we had to do was break that little seal that was there at the tip. I thought I had secured it a little better than that. There we go. And blah. Got plenty, but not too much. Let's seal that back up. And. Woo. Sorry, I'm also trying to do this behind the camera. 
All right, should be good right there. Let's fix it a little bit. Maybe a little more in. There we go. To go right there with that arm. All right. Now those got to sit and dry for a minute before I start messing with transfers on there, but the banner. So this ought to be fun. I got uh, clean water right here. I don't want to use my dingy water. And I got my two transfers down here. Here's one. And I use this little sponge tip to help apply it as well. Uh, one of the tricky things is when I go to do the pauldron, uh, since it's on the reverse, uh, all I got to do is flip the pauldron, or yeah, flip the pauldron, uh -huh. flip the uh, uh, transfer. Not a big deal. Can be tricky, but hey, the transfer sheet comes with more than enough. So let's go ahead and wet our brush. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, daddy almost messed up. So we're going to get out our varnish. Forgot. Need to prep that thing. This is what I use. Simple. Wife gave it to me. Works great. Get a little drip drip. There on the palette. Okay. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is we need to basically prime that little area. Getting a little varnish on it. Sorry, I know I did that off camera. We'll be all right. All right, a little transfer. And you wet the back of it liberally, as I've been told. And you flip. And you wet the front of it liberally. It, yep, coming right off. All right, now I've seen people just do, you know, wetting it straight onto the mini, which I get. It hasn't worked for me yet. All right, this is going to be tricky. As these things have a habit of sticking. I just, I would like it to look at least centered and it looks okay. It's not the most centered, but it will do. Looks pretty good. And then we just take that varnish again. And just go right on over it to seal it. I would just varnish the rest of it. I almost did, but we still need to apply oil. So yeah, there we go. Shucky. Clean that. All right. And while that's still drying, and we're still waiting on the pauldrons to dry, we might as well break out the little Sharpie, right? And we're going to try this. Now, uh, what I usually just write, because I'm not the best at this freehand stuff, and I know it's just writing, but we're talking about miniatures here. I just write void because these guys are masters of the void. So why not? And I usually start right in the center because I like it to be, you know, uh, more or less equal. So we're just going to do that. And there you go. It's not the best, but it's okay. After all, that is just for my army. If I wasn't doing it behind a camera, and that's such an odd angle, might have come out just a little bit cleaner, but hey, it will suffice. It will do its job. Plus, if anything, it'll just look more handwritten. And you know what? I forgot the caps on the eye. So excuse me for a second while I... Try to get a better hand on this. 
because this is after all Sharpie and I would hate for it to ruin. Because as much as it's not a big deal, dude. This is my army and I want it to look as good as possible, so eh. For my sake. There we go. A little better. Alright. Simple as that. That's all you really gotta do. And I still want to give those pauldrons time to dry, right? So now, we're gonna try for some exile markings. Now, sometimes these pens can be a little difficult to work with. Alright. They do pretty nicely, but I've had some issues and I usually use an 8 but usually to get it going I will write on myself then I'll tackle it and we're gonna kinda try to keep this as simple as possible so something like that and I'm usually not looking for anything like crisp clean only because I mean, it'll look more hand drawn since these guys actually do that to themselves. But uh, as simple as that is, I actually kind of dig that. I, I want to do another one inside this, but I don't know. That, that looks so... I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave that. It just looks simple enough to where I don't, I don't want to mess with that. I'm going to do something on his hand, straight across, another little line, yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. And now for over here, we'll actually try something a little cooler then. And I don't really plot these out per se. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants, if you will. Try to make it look somewhat organic. Mm, my apologies, folks. Technical difficulties. All right. And we're going to go for a little dot. 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 All right. This is where... Calligraphy. For toddlers. We're just going to do three little lines right there. And you know what? I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to go bop, 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 bop. Kind of trace that around. But yeah, I'm going to leave it right there so that we don't get carried away and that it still looks good. And honestly, I think I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, usually they have very ornate armor. But for time's sake and for... Less risk, we're gonna leave that alone. All right, now we're gonna to get to the next transfer now that everything has dried enough. It has dried enough. All right. Let's go ahead and prime that pauldron.
get some waters. There we go. So I know that is off camera. Just bear with me, folks. All right. Okay, so this thing actually got flipped on me already. But not in the direction I wanted. So we're going to have to take that and be a little risky. Alright, we'll be alright. So now we got to to the pauldron, which it's not liking. It curled on me. It curled. Hold on. We also need to do that pauldron again. It is not wet enough. No, I'm not ambidextrous. Da. This couldn't have been more disastrous, minus a rip. Alright. Use this to smooth it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Look, I know the other I know the other Marine with some Mark VI had it back there, but you ain't going back there. You're going right here. Sitting too high. That has damn near been the most trouble any transfer has been. All right, we're going to try salvage damage control here. The back of it is not wanting to sit per se. Oh, trying to roll it, get it to stick. There we go. All right, now we can seal the rest of it and make sure that really stays there. So that one, I gotta admit, it's not gonna come out the greatest. And that's okay. That is okay. However, it is on there. Really not proud or happy with that one, but hey. I can't keep fighting it. The other one came out pretty good, though. It's not the most centered thing, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll say it's still lurking and dancing in the water. Now, uh, what do you say we risk a little bit of dry brushing while well, we got a minute? So I'm going to get one of my cheapo crap ones that I have well used. Where's my uniform gray? There it is. I put it back in the tray. All right, we're going to get some uniform gray so that it is the darker one. And we're not dry brushing the armor per se, we're dry brushing the gun. All right, we're just going to get a little bit on it, right? All right. Mm. Don't want too much. Like I said, I've almost more or less stopped dry brushing. But that's just because a few things just kept coming out so wonky. And 
it was most likely I was just being a little too heavy-handed with it, and it happens. But hey, we'll even dirty up the knee a little bit. All right, and that's that. Don't need much. Didn't even use much paint in the tray either. So that's perfect, great, grand, wonderful. Now, we're gonna break out that cheat oil, Nolan oil from Citadel. And let's see what we can do with this, right? Now, I usually apply this very liberally. I'm gonna get out another one of my cheapo brushes. This thing has been used a lot and it has been used a lot for the oil now. But like I said, I usually apply it pretty liberally. So we need to start somewhere. So we're going to start up here and hit, hit, hit. Try to bring out equal detail without getting muddied. It'll be all right. Do the same to the back. Now the dilemma that just crossed my mind is, so usually when I finish a piece, I post it online immediately. Now, if this video is split, which I've already been recording it like I'm, like it is split, so I might as well just keep it that way, but. You know how tempting it's going to be? To put, like, I'm, I'm, having the, I'm having the inner debate. I'm like, hey, just go ahead and post it. And then people can watch the video anyway. And I'm like, well, why do that when they can watch the video? And then I can show once the uh, last video is out. I'm like, well, what the hell is the point? Just post the damn picture. So, yeah. Pretty sure we're just going to post the damn picture. It'll look cool. It'll look cool in all its fun glory. So if I keep trailing off and pausing, uh, trying to make sure the same difficulty, technical difficulty doesn't happen again. Now, usually for the bone, for the bone, I'm just going to use this uh, shading, but I usually use a flesh tone on it, and it helps bring out more of that uh, more of that bone color. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. It's coming out okay so far. A little too dirty. Yeah, whenever I get things a little too dirty, I just dab it, dry up the brush, then I'm able to get it out of there, you know? I'm almost forgetting about the rest of his backpack there. I get distracted sometimes, it's hard to, it's hard to stay. You know, you're moving around, you're trying to get the whole thing. But anyway, this music that's on in the background is still that uh, uh, that stronghold ambiance soundtrack thing. Man, it it really makes me miss whenever I would play uh, on my old computer. Uh, I'm before that debate really sparks up. Uh, no. I'm not a PC guy. Uh, I am a console guy. Uh, I'm I'm okay with being wrong. <laughs> so I know that's the first thing that usually people would say. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, I know. That's okay. Uh, I grew up playing with PC. Okay, I played DOS and everything. Uh, I loved the Mighty Max game. I loved. Uh... Oh man, I can't remember his name right now. John Tron did a video of it once. It was a Halloween special. Oh man, 
I can't remember the name. It wasn't Mighty Max. It was some kid, he... Monster Bash! Monster Bash, good lord. Yeah, Monster Bash. Uh, grew up playing that, uh, Rise of the Triad. Uh, the original Duke Nukem 1 and 2. Ooh, pause on that, so I almost forgot. You see how that just got muddied up very much so? That. Yeah, so the, um, the little paint markers, they will absolutely run if you get them too wet with this shading. It will run. I have ruined models doing that. First time I was on accident, just because I didn't know. And another a couple other times, it was just going, oops. Got, got carried away. And then, of course, I hated myself for it, because there went all my detail. All my lovely, lovely detail. I spent all so hard, all 10 seconds of it. And 10 seconds of my ass. Sometimes I've, I've spent a long time uh, doing some of those. So I just try to give it like one or two streaks, and that's about it. One or two streaks, that's all you really need. It, you know, especially when you're just trying to dirty up armor. I'm trying to get it to pool in the other places where it needs to pool. Another little bit. Another little bit. Get some of this dry armor back here. Okay. So the longest part, I think, is going to be waiting for all of that to dry. I forgot to get this pauldron all together. All that bronze needs to be dirted up. And this pauldron, I wasn't really going to mess with it, but screw it. It'll help dull that black. Because the, the primer didn't take to that pauldron all that well. But as you can see, that Aquila, uh, it looked kind of... Uh, kind of chalky in a way. I'm going to dry that up and... Just hit the raised. Bring the shine back out on it. And now, looks pretty decent. Pretty decent. So, yeah, we have to let all that sit. So, probably gonna skip the base. And uh, we can do a base on another model. Uh, but for now, all said and done, not too shabby. Now, if you're wondering what it's going to really look like when it's dry, all I got to do is uh, defer you to uh, Instagram online. I realized the, uh, one of the eye holes, the socket, actually got a little clogged. Either way. We will be varnishing him. So don't worry about that. That will happen. Because I do like to try to keep them protected from all our oily fingers and everything. Uh, I just, I hate seeing work get covered. And I forgot those little, those little, uh, bones right there, the little teeth hanging off. It's not a big deal, but dirtying them up does help. It helps the whole piece look cohesive. Either way, folks, I think that is probably going to be it. So I do want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you've been sticking with me this far, awesome. 
uh, I applaud you. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have suggestions for others, uh, for other chapters and whatnot, uh, hold off on that for a little bit. I already have a pretty big list coming. Uh, I've been commissioned to do uh, the new Angron model, so I'm going to have to do that for a friend. Uh, that will take <laughs> take some time, of course. It's a big model. I don't think I'm going to capture that one. I want to be able to focus on it and do it good for him. That way, uh, it'll be worth the money. Because uh, if he's going to commission me for it, then, I, it, then it needs to be basically my best work. Uh, if anything, man. I'm going to touch up that face a little bit more. So... As far as the others that I have coming, uh, you already know, if you've been paying attention, that I am a huge Flesh Terrors fan. So, there will be some Flesh Terror models that will be coming. There really will. Again, apologies about that. But in conclusion, uh, as I was saying, uh, I have plenty of other chapters lined up. Uh, for example, uh, Dark Kraken, uh, Angels and Carmine, uh, Celestial Lions, Retributors, and uh, probably a slew of others, you know, Flesh Terrors and whatnot. But uh, stay tuned. You can catch me on... Uh, Instagram, Pungo Paints. I also have an Etsy shop, Pungo Paints Workshop. Uh, so be on the lookout for any of that. And uh, hopefully you guys liked this. I, I honestly had a lot of fun doing this. And uh, I hope to see you guys again. It will most likely be a little bit before I get the chance to do this again. Uh, just things are very busy. This was kind of our one chance to try to get something like this done but that concludes pongo paints let's paint kakaradons thank you everyone and uh well may the void father guide your brush Thank you.